how much? Three nineteen. Three dollars and nineteen cents. We've told them what we're doing today. Uh, we're going to my friend's memorial service. It's kind of why I'm not all bubbly. Yeah. Bless you. Three fifty eight. Thanks, Biden. For real. Dumbass. Uh, oh, that was on the video. That's cool. So that's fine. <laughs> we are not fans of Biden. Hate to tell you. Sorry if you are. Hair, I swear, it was really good today, you guys. And now we've been, um, we've had the windows down. Hey, it's more of an AC type of guy, but I'm a windows down type of girl. So I was like, yeah. That's the cause of this crazy ass hair though. Anywho, like Peyton said, we're um, headed to his friend's memorial service. And then after that, since we're in town, we're gonna go pick up some smoke. Cause I need some smoke. And then, actually you guys, I haven't actually smoked in like four days. That is crazy because usually my pain is so bad. I have to smoke at least like once every two days, once every day but I actually haven't needed it like that. So that's awesome. Like I'm trying to get off of my medication and just kind of go more of like the natural route. And like I said, smoke every now and then when I need to. Um, but yeah, so far I haven't taken my medication for like a week and I've been doing really good. Like it's crazy. But um, yeah, anyways, we're gonna go into town, go get some smoke. I might go get my nails done because Peyton finally got paid, so that's nice. <laughs> um, might go get my nails done. Um, who knows what we'll do today, you guys? Honestly, like I want to try to make the best out of it since we are going into town. We've been in Davenport for I want to say. over two weeks now but um yeah so anytime we go into town we're gonna try to make the best out of it because it's it's not that far but it's still like a drive you know so we'll see what happens who knows honestly we're just kind of going with the flow today yeah we'll see you later You guys, that was so sad. <sighs> he, but look at how many people were there, you know? Like, look at all the lives that, like, he touched, you know? I knew him, even though I didn't know him that well. But I knew him. Yeah. I traveled with him. And you still, like, look at, he touched you. You know, I didn't even know him that well 
between and he touched me like i'm literally sitting there bawling my eyes out just hearing about how he touched all those other people's lives like and i can just like he was obviously a light you know oh yeah no he was i remember there's this one time we were in seattle and we needed someone to run in our relay and it was for the four by four he just stepped up for us, you know, he had never, he was a jumper, strictly a jumper, never ran, never did nothing, and uh -huh. he filled in for us, and he ran really well, too. I mean, we always, we knew that he would be good in the 400, just because he's, you know, 6'6". Six, yeah. Six. yeah. But. Yeah. That's, like, so sad, because you know he was going places. You know? Like. He was a professional athlete. He literally didn't even get a chance to. Yeah, exactly. Compete professionally, but he was. <laughs> Nobody taught him. Like, he never had a good jump coach. Nobody taught him how to jump. He was just naturally he was gifted. Naturally mm -hmm. amazing. That's like, awesome. he would. We. You know, even Cecil tried to have people coach him but yeah he never needed it I think he would just kind of show up and do a couple jumps and be a star he didn't really That's need awesome. practice I mean he practiced but he didn't need it yeah. it's kind of hard not to be sad when his mom got up there like my heart for his mom you know and his sisters like and his dad like just everybody that he you know touched like but yeah, especially his mom. Like, knowing that was her only boy, you know? And like... Crazy. What are those up there? Oh, those are more like sticky. Do they need to be long? Yeah. <laughs> okay, y'all, so we went to Walmart to get me some more nails because 
Usually I do my own nails. I can make my own like press-ons, but I lost some of the stuff. You didn't lose it. Well, I didn't lose it. My sister lost some of my stuff. I do not miss the city at whatsoever. I do not. No. No. People are just stupid. Um, anyways, first we went to Target and they didn't have no cute nails, not my style. So, uh, we went to Walmart and they actually had a good variety of nails that I would actually wear. Because that was the thing too, I wanted to actually, like, go get my nails done today. Because I was like, well, it's been a long time since I actually had my nails done. But the thing is, you guys, I don't even like to get my nails done anymore. Because one, it takes forever. Two, I've had bad experiences where they like cut my cuticles, cut my skin, make me bleed out. Um, three, it's really expensive nowadays to get your nails done, get them filled constantly. And four, I felt like I had a fourth point. Um, oh, good job, babe. That was my fourth point. <laughs> Yeah, it's so bad for your nails, like for your actual natural nails, getting your nails done is awful. Like it thins them, it's, it weakens your nails, it's just not good. So I, one day, I actually want to make like my own like press on nail business. Like I said, like we went to Target and they didn't have any that were like my style, which my style, they describe my style, my nail style for them. <laughs> yes. Bling, long, vibrant. Sometimes it's simple, but definitely long. Um, what else? I think you're right. So yeah, anyways, Walmart was on their shit though. So look, I got these ones. I got these ones, which will look really good on my um, skin because of the color. And then I got these ones. So, super excited. And then I also just got like some nail glue just in case they fall off, they pop off. Cause sometimes I do be happy with restaurants. But tell them what we're doing now, babe. Um, we're headed to the mall, I believe, right? Headed to the mall, get some stuff done. Um, Treat Pate? I don't think he even knows what he wants to do. I said, do you want to go get your nose re-pierced? Because Y'all, he had to take his... Well, you lost it, didn't you? Didn't Cuckoo you lose it? Oh, yeah. Cuckoo, our baby, our dog, ripped it out. And then we just never, like, got him a new one because he was going into the Air Force at that time. Which, oh my gosh, babe, on YouTube, we never even told them that you're not going on the air, going into the Air Force anymore. No, not on YouTube. Oh, wow. I know. So, that's a story time. So, stay tuned for that. But, yeah, that was a thing. So, that's why we never got his... Uh, got another nose ring for him but now he has to actually get it like re-pierced if he wants to because it closed up so I told him I was like you could go do that today or you could go get yourself some new clothes or maybe some J's treat yourself it's fine you work hard that's what we're doing so we're headed to the mall right now you got Wow, bud. He's looking around. Like, did you see his face? Yeah. It was like a teen, though. Young teen. It's probably like his first truck or something. Oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, did you see I cut off my exhaust right off the headers, bro? <laughs> so loud. Shoots flames sometimes. <sighs> wow. We can go to T-Mobile. Get you a new phone. Okay, that's so me, though. So. And I know I need a new phone, but like, we can do that another time. Saw Jamin, came uh, in to look at phones. Friend. Yeah, and I think this is the phone that I'm gonna get. You think so? Because the only thing is like, where is it supposed to stuff? Cause I use the notes to write. You guys, we're filming on Peyton's phone right now, but this would be a good phone for vlogs too, when I don't want to use the camera. Um, the camera that we have. But see, yeah, where's the notes? Just search. Notes? Oh, I think I found it actually. See, there's just so much more you can do with it. 
you guys. I don't know if I want to get the phone today because I don't know with commitment. Like if I get that phone, I'm switching from iPhone to Android, and that's commitment. <laughs> I don't know if I'm ready for it. Look at our friend Johnny working over here, doing his thing. my ring soldered and I'm so excited because it's annoying when I go to show people my nice rock my ice and the the diamonds aren't showing it's, it's showing because also the lady that we're working with she was like yeah your ring's a little like too big so now I'm getting it resized too so that way it's like snug so I shouldn't have any problems with it twisting around either you know what I'm saying go show people and it like the diamonds wouldn't be like showing and I'm like no you need to see that my man spent money on me <laughs> yeah no look at all these rings though crazy let's go ahead and show them what you got I really enjoyed these fragrances so Graphite. maybe got it come on now are you new oh shit are am you I new, new? <laughs> yeah. yep they smell really good so I'm super excited for that gonna jump daddy every time he puts it on yeah so now we are headed to the tattoo shop to go schedule my tattoo i'm so excited um so yeah we're gonna go do that and then we're gonna go get some food we are here at darcy's i got myself a nice tall ipa it's so good too voodoo ranger it's one of my favorites and I forgot my fucking ID. I'm sure I could get one because she like didn't card us, but I'm like I would forget. Like it's because I don't ever bring my. Yeah, ID. Just uh, say yeah. Actually, can I get one? Yeah, we got a the Darcy's platter, which is like a mix of potato skins with clams, clam strips. I don't know what else. It's <laughs> gonna be good. <laughs> it's pretty much their like. Uh, this is like a platter of like appetizers. Yeah, it's like an assortment of appetizers, basically. Yeah. No, we're waiting for um, my cousins. So they're coming, and my our family friend is in town. Thank you so much. So very welcome. Thank you. You want to ask for one? I want to know. Anyways, how much we'll is. see you guys. How much was the beer? I don't know. I'll ask. Her. So, I'm already eating some karaoke. I'm so excited.
<laughs> I'm about to do my notice big brown paper with Cousin Scott. I'm so excited. You guys missed it. Freaking Peyton did some Snoop Dogg and he killed that shit. I was a proud wife. I was like, that's my husband. That's my husband. They're about to kill shit. I'm so excited. We made it home from the night, so I just wanted to do like a little outro, but I look crazy. So let Peyton's going to take over real quick and do the outro for y'all. <laughs> Have a great night, and thank you for watching. I mean, that was pretty much an outro. 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 That was pretty much. I'm looking rough, too. Y'all shouldn't even see my hair right now. This time we made it home. Today we made it home. Today was a great day. I fucked up my beard, so now I just have a... I just made him shave it off. Firefighter mustache. So, yeah. We'll see you tomorrow or whenever we record. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. And Bye, guys. we'll see you in the next video.